hi guys welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you guys how to insert photos into words or either numbers or whatever you want to insert it into I grabbed a couple of images off of um, Google make sure you guys look for images save them to your um, files or desktop or whatever and that way it's easier for you to, to insert them so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off, I'm going to just do numbers. And I, I actually have baby pictures um, that I pulled up. I don't have a baby, so I had to pull up pictures from Google. Um, we're going to do 2021. And, like, you can make this out of a shirt or whatever. You, I mean, of course, you want to add some more stuff to it, but I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So I have 2021. The first thing I'm going to do is offset it so it can make it bigger because I want to be able to put like big pictures in there or so that you can see the pictures let's see so that's big enough so all I did was went to offset offset and then you want to scale it as um, big as you want so that this outside the outside of the numbers can be bigger so when you hit apply then I could just drag that off and you see how how big that made it this was the original one and then that's the new one that we're going to use so you could delete that or do whatever you want to with it i'm going to delete it so now that i did the offset my numbers are already um separated they're not grouped together which is good because i don't want them grouped together if you have to move your numbers make sure you group them together first um, i'm going to go ahead and go to my files i did um like i said pull off some pull off pull up some images from Google uh, let's see and they're different baby pictures these are not my kids so I just grabbed some uh, but they're cute so all I do is drag it from Google and then drop it into the number that I want to drop it in um, I have two screens up so you can't see me actually dropping them but I have my files up will open and then I'm just dragging a picture from one side of my computer to the other one and right now I'm just going to drag them all in and then we'll um, scale them after that. So let's see. I got one more. This is a cute one right here. Aww. Okay, so now that I have that done, I can click on the first two. And then if you go to your um, fill panel, like the little paint. What is this thing called? Y'all know what it's called. A little paint thing. Um, and then go here to fill pattern and then if you go to pan pattern it'll this little white box will come up and then you could kind of move your picture so you want to move it to where like the you can actually see the baby picture so now that that's moved I can go to the next one I'm gonna click on this one go to pan and then this baby maybe I should have oh he's so cute I should have put this well that's a cute one I was gonna say I should have put them in a two so that you can really see them but that's really cute right there right, I'm gonna go to this one go to pan and you guys this is super easy to do and like I said you can make like invitations um, shirts whatever you want to make by using this it's just like I'm teaching y'all how to design some stuff and then that little baby right there so just um I know these all not the same baby, but just imagine if it was the same baby, that would be so cute. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and group it, and then you can add an outline. Let's see, let's add a black outline, and I'm going to go ahead and make it thick. So go to thickness. Sorry if I'm moving too fast, but y'all can like rewind it if you want to. Y'all see how I made it thick? I did that in less than like... I want to say maybe two minutes and it's complete so just imagine like if you imagine like if you really want to just like make an invitation or um, put it on a shirt um, graduation is coming up you can actually add graduation photos and like I said it doesn't have to be a number you can actually say if you had the baby's name let's just call this baby Oh, I do have a baby. I have a little nephew. Well, it's not my baby. It's a little, my little great nephew. But I don't have any pictures right now. And I don't know if his parents want me to put him all on YouTube. So I'm just going to still use these babies. But I'm going to use his name. So let's say if it's Azari. 
Oh, he's so cute, John. Azari is so cute. Okay, so I'm going to take Azari's name. And I'm just showing y'all again what I did, but with a name this time. And then I'm going to go to Offset. Offset Azari's name. But I'm going to, of course, make it bigger. And you can make this as big as you want. But you still want to, like, not be overlapping each other and stuff. Because you don't want to group it yet. So, and guess what? I did. But let's just see how it's going to look. Um, let's see how it's gonna look if I just put like one picture. Let's see. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna go to pan. I never did it like with the word group, so let's see if this is gonna work. All right, go to, of course, go to your fill panel and then go to, um, what is this? Go to fill pattern and then pan pattern. And let's see. Oh, it's not going to work because... Oh, it is going to work. Look at that. Look at that. That's not a Zari, y'all, but... That's a cute baby. Anyway, so go over to um, the line. And you can make it whatever color. So let's make it like a blue. You can make it a blue. And then you can just make the thickness. Do the thickness up. That is super cute. Okay, another thing you can do is also, um, I'm going to go to offset again, and then apply. I'm not going to, like, make it big. Like, I'm not going to offset it a lot, just a little bit. And then I can, hold on, let me move this. Make sure I got the right one. Then you can make that blue, and you could kind of do like this if you want to. I don't know if I like that. But, anyways, just giving y'all some ideas. I like to always go up here and make sure it's centered. And it is centered. Anyways, um, I like this. I don't know if I like it blue, though. Let's see. Let's see how it looks black. Mm -hmm. Did I group it? Okay, I didn't group it, so I didn't have to ungroup it. Let's see how it looks in black. Oh, that looks way better in black. That is super cute. Okay, so don't say I never taught y'all how to do anything. Here is the tutorial on how to add pictures, insert pictures into words or numbers. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.